Well, I just brought the uh, bought the Les Stroud survival knife. It uh, seems like a fairly well built knife. The the blade is supposed to be good, full tang. Uh, some of the features on here is uh, signal mirror built in, which is uh, really cool. I guess I hope it doesn't uh, shatter though. It's uh, right on the outside. There's no way to cover it. So if you fall, I don't know if it's going to do any damage to it or not. Uh, right in here is a little storage compartment. I put some uh, cotton balls in there and a match, but I guess you can put whatever you want. In here, right where my thumb is, there's a sharpener. Built-in sharpener to run your, uh, run your knife through and sharpen the blade. Uh, on the sides here, I'm doing this with one hand, I got the iPhone going. So, the sheath itself is good. You got your basic, uh, if you're lost, instructions there, how to light a fire and shelter and all that other stuff. Well-built sheath. I don't think it's going to do any, fall apart on you anytime soon. You don't need any, uh, I don't think you're going to need any modifications on this. Um, to look at the knife itself, let me just get this out here. It's hard with one hand. Knife itself seems to be pretty good. It's uh, full tang. 440 steel uh, stick uh, coating on here to prevent sticking from pine sap or anything else. I like the saw part in here. Uh, better than most knives I've seen as far as uh, the quality of the saw blade itself. Knife came really sharp. Really, really sharp. It's got a good grip. Well built handle. I don't think this stuff's coming off here unlike uh, another similar knife from another outdoors person I bought. Uh, the butt here, it uh, seems to be in there good. I don't think it's glued on. I think it's all the way through and in there attached to the tang. It, uh, as far as hammering goes, I'm not a big fan of using this to hammering anyways. That's what rocks are for. But it seems like a very well-built knife. It's got your little uh, niche at the top here for using uh, the steel, the, the striker steel for fires, which it comes with and which we'll do in a minute. We'll try to get a fire going. Uh, very good grip. Very happy with the grip. Feels comfortable in the hand. It's uh, it, it's it's very good. It's uh, the knife itself is made by Camillus and partners with uh, Les Stroud, so it's a very 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 good knife. Uh, a couple other bonus features I like on the on the sheath itself is uh, comes with paracord. It's I mean by no means is it 550 paracord. You could put 550 on there. It comes with I don't even know how long this is. I haven't unraveled it yet. And two other really neat features are uh, in here. Comes with a little LED light. I mean, it's not gonna bright everything up, but it's enough to get you by if uh, you need to see something in the dark. And uh, a whistle. Now, mind you, I had to uh, play with this mouthpiece a little bit. The whistle wasn't quite loud enough for what I like it, so I just hollowed it out a little bit more. Um, it's uh, it'll get someone's attention now that it's it's fairly loud so so that clips right in there and depending which way you have your knife in the sheath these things won't come out and on this side of course is your uh, striker steel so I'm gonna light a fire get a fire going here see if we can get one going and uh, we'll see how this thing actually works